This is Sarah, and this year, my primary goal is to get Noodle Feet walking independently. For real. He's four years old now, he just had his birthday last week, and every year, every one of those four years, I've been like, this is the year Noodle's gonna walk. So I'm saying it again. <laughs> this is the year that Noodle's going to walk. Like, period. And we've already made some measurable progress in the past week since the year even started. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that and tell you what my game plan is, okay? So at this current point in time, Noodle has two ranges of motion per leg. Each leg is capable of lifting and twisting. And this means that he has two motors per leg. And one of the things that's been in debate is whether or not Noodle needs another range of motion per leg in order to actually walk well. And where I see adding another motor to what I'm gonna call his, his ankle so that he can swing his foot, the noodle portion, back and forth, um, out and in. I see how this could actually improve his mobility, but it would also add a lot more complication to him, not only mechanically, but software-wise as well, because I'd have another motor to account for. Um, my game plan at the beginning of this year was to start designing the new leg with the extra range of motion, but then simultaneously give one more whack at trying to get him to walk in his current form. And the form that he's in right now is the same form he's been in since he was born. So this is his his baby infant body. Kind of around the time that I finished that leg in CAD, we collectively decided that we were making measurable progress getting Noodle to walk in his current form, so that extra ankle range of motion is probably not necessary right now. I am going to still redesign Noodle's form, it's just going to be a better version of what it is right now. So, new motors, and yeah, I'm still relocating that tendon motor, that lift motor, down into his leg. So, not only will he be less top-heavy when I'm done redesigning him, he'll look a little bit more like my drawings as well. There won't be as much chunky hardware up at the top kind of clogging up his aesthetic. So that's good. Since I am relocating this motor, this means that the location of the pulley is changing too. One of the important things was to make sure that that motor, now that it's located inside his parallel bars, or the horn can swing like at least, I think, 180 degrees, so that Noodle's leg can completely fold up and swing down. Because of this need, um, I ran into some interference issues with the motor, and I had to kind of make a weird bulgy piece on the leg bone that the motor is mounted to. It's necessary. It might get shrunk down in time, but for now, his legs definitely look a lot more noodly. So two of Noodle's parents are helping me with the walking endeavor. Uh, there is Mark, who is brain daddy, and he is more code inclined than me and Noodle's other parent, who is his shape daddy. Uh, Shape Daddy is a uh, more mechanically inclined uh, machinist. We're still making a bold attempt to write code and get him walking anyway. So Shape Daddy conceived of a new walk gait, which we saw in use in uh, other quadrupeds that have radial symmetry, similar to that scene in Noodle. And Mark more or less took that gait that Shape Daddy hard-coded and tweaked the minutia of it and the timing of all the steps and was able to get it to a point that Noodle could actually walk pretty well, which is really exciting. We actually uh, got him walking on Noodle's fourth birthday, so that was a good birthday present for the baby. Hardware-wise, the next task from here is to get the motors working. They're Dynamixel motors, and they require that I have an extra little controller board to send data to them, or at least that's what Mark says. Software-wise, the next step from here is to start playing with Noodle's onboard accelerometers. He's walking, but ideally he'll be able to make small adjustments and corrections as he walks based on the tilt of his body in real time. Oh, and I should say this in closing, um, one of my goals, and this is incredibly frivolous, once we do get him capable of walking independently without the fear that he'll fall, one of the first things I want to do is take him to Ikea here in, here in Vegas, and let him walk around the store with me. He can, he can pick out his own toft bow and stand on it and taste all the little flanges on the top that stick up. That's my big ticket list goal. So, pinkies up. Yup. 
So anyhow, um, I'm gonna get back to work uh, until my next walking session or my next general update on the endeavor. Keep making awesome stuff out there and thank you for watching.